Right, so we have a report from 9 to 5 mac that says that Apple's working on a new external display that has an A13 chip. And this might not make a ton of sense initially, but I do have a few theories on why Apple's giving an external display the A13. So without further ado, let's delve in. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so there's only a few tidbits in this report, but the pretty big ones, beginning with the fact this display is going to be replacing the Pro Display XDR. So this is not going to be the cheaper Thunderbolt display we've been waiting for. Now, yes, I know that's a bummer for some, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We do end up seeing the cheaper Thunderbolt display pretty soon. Also, I do want to mention there is a very small chance we could see today's Pro Display XDR go down in price. So maybe around two to three thousand dollars. I know that's still very expensive, but of course, it is a lot cheaper than the current price, and it could be a pretty solid option for some. Anyways, moving back to this new external display, the codename is J327, and I'm not sure why you should know that, but I guess if you were wondering about the codename for some reason, now you know. But more importantly, we should see the A13 and a neural engine in this external display that's got some of you guys a little confused. So why does a display need an SoC? Well, my thinking is that maybe the A13 could either help accelerate certain processes by working in tandem with the computer's chip and ultimately gives you much better performance. Also, the GPU in the A13 could act as an eGPU and it could help your Mac deliver high resolution graphics without having to use all the resources of the computer's internal chip. But guys, in my opinion, the most important part of the A13 is the neural engine because you might not know, but macOS Monterey has M1 exclusive features that take advantage of the neural engine in the M1, which of course Intel Macs don't have. And so my thinking is, the neural engine in the A13 could maybe enable the upcoming Intel Mac Pro to get all the exclusive M1 features in macOS Monterey. Because guys, let's be honest, it won't be the best look for Apple to release a new Intel Mac Pro that won't be able to take advantage of all the macOS Monterey features when they're charging a minimum of $6,000. And obviously professionals who buy the Mac Pro are gonna be holding onto them. And so the neural engine features in macOS will continue to expand every year. And so I think a neural engine in the Pro Display XDR2 that works with the new Intel Mac Pro makes a ton of sense in my opinion. In fact, I could also see this applied to the current Mac Pro because that's also a very expensive machine. And so yes, I think those prosumers would appreciate being able to take advantage of those neural engine features in macOS. As for the details on this display, we don't know much. Now, I think the design is gonna stay the same, but the display could make a jump over to mini LED. Now, yes, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't the current Pro Display XDR have a mini LED panel already? Well, actually no, because today I learned the Pro Display XDR has an IPS LCD display that's very close to being mini LED because it has 576 backlight LEDs that are individually controlled, whereas a typical mini LED panel has a few thousands of those. And so yes, maybe we could see the technology we have on the iPad Pro in this new Pro Display XDR. Now as for the price and release date, I think the price should stay the same unless we do see mini LED. That could increase the price ever so slightly, but if you can afford a Pro Display XDR in the first place, you must be balling. So yes, a small price hike should not really be an issue. And as for the release date, well, I do have a feeling this won't be releasing anytime soon because 9 to 5 Mac says Apple's testing an internal display with the A13, testing being the key word. And so yes, it's still very much in development. And so by the time we do see it, maybe it does come with a rebranded A13 that could be called the D1 for display. I don't know, but it could be coming with its own chip that could be based on the A13. And so yes, 
it won't be releasing anytime soon and we should see this debut with the Mac Pro or the Mac Pro Mini with Apple Silicon in 2022. Also side note, but I hope Apple includes the Pro Stand with the purchase this time because it was daylight robbery charging a thousand dollars for a bloody stand. So yes, I am hoping Timothy can be kind to us and include that with the purchase free of charge. Anyways, let me know in the comments below, do you have any theories on why we have the A13 in this external display? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the deck above on details regarding the M2 iPad Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.